the Lord has really gifted you. Just really gifted. And you know, one thing about it, here's the thing. The Lord will gift you, but then it's our responsibility to practice right. and to study, as the scripture says, to show thyself approved. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's not only the practicing, because I certainly did, you know, God given gifted me with ability to play and so I practiced and I went to conservatory and got all the right training and yet um, I still missed God's plan for my life. His job, his job for me had nothing to do with symphony orchestras. It had to do with what I'm doing tonight and using my violin wow. and my voice um, to share the love of Christ with people, not only in this country but around the world. Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. So. Have you been, I mean, was you always like a Christ, in a Christian home or tell me, tell me okay. how, how you met Jesus? Well, I was raised in a Christian home, um, so I went to church every Sunday, but I didn't hear the salvation message until I was in a youth group in high school, and so I gave my life to the Lord and then went on to music school, and again, I had dreams and aspirations for my life, but then I made decisions that weren't God's will for my life, and I kind of slipped off of his path, and um, fast forward 15 years or so, and I wasn't playing the violin anymore. I certainly didn't know I could sing, and it was kind of in a dark and a difficult place where I felt like I had missed mm. my destiny, and uh, at that time, the Lord did something very unusual, and God, he's kind of strange, isn't he? Mm. God, God works in mysterious ways, and um, mysterious ways is what he did in my life. He came into my life at that time when I felt like I had really screwed up and missed God's plan for myself. Yeah. And um, that's the moment when he came in and, and uh, actually started giving me an opportunity to minister and uh, use music to share his love. That's when it happened was actually when I was at my lowest place. Wow. Yeah. You know, and that's what God sometimes when we're flat on our back that's when we start looking the right direction. Exactly. Isn't it? Yeah. And so after after you, mm -hmm. uh, how did it happen? Did you just say, Lord, mm -hmm. I, I mean, did it come in a message or did he oh, speak man. to you? Or it was just a still small voice or how did, how did that happen? Well, it's wonderful because when God calls us, he's the one that does the calling. We don't have to make things happen. God opens the doors. And that's what happened in my life. That's I cried right. out to him and I asked him to help me. I opened the Bible, I saw a Bible verse, it was Psalm 116, verse 4, and uh, it just said, oh God, help me, or oh God, save me. So I cried out to him, and that year, some really strange and miraculous things began to happen. And one of them was at Christmas time. Um, I was living with my four children. I was a single mother at that time, and we were really struggling financially, um, living on food stamps, relying on people to bring us food and clothes for the kids. It was a dark, difficult time. So my landlord brought us a Christmas tree. So he comes in the house dragging this tree, and he was setting it up. And while he was setting up the tree, there was music playing in the background. I had made a very um, bad recording of some Christmas carols as a gift for a friend. And that music was playing when he walked in, and he heard it, and he said, uh, what is that? And I said, well, that's just, that's uh, me. That's just a gift I made for a friend. And he said, that's you singing? And I said, yeah. And he sat down on my couch and he started to cry and he just, he just wept and wept and put his head in his hands. And he looked at me and he said, Gene Watson, he said, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but that's what you're supposed to be doing. Wow. And so he said, he gave me my rent money back and he said, I want you to give it to a recording studio and make a CD. <laughs> And that's what I did. That was in 2002. How I ended awesome. up making uh, six records, and um, the Lord's taken me um, many countries all over the world and done amazing things. And like you said, um, it's uh, so that was um, God's Christmas gift to me was giving me my life back and giving me my calling and my destiny back. Woo! <laughs> so powerful. That is wonderful. I just, yeah, amazing. So you have four children? Yep, I do. You, and, and what's their, how old are they? Um, they are, I have two sons and two daughters, um, ages 25, and my youngest is 16, and I actually have two grandchildren 
So God called me into this kind of late in life, but here I am, and I'm still, still playing and still singing. Well, honey, you look so young. Yeah, I'm grand That's grand wonderful. Grand. That's yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Well, I am so excited about you being here Thank and you. about your gift and Thank your you. testimony and what you are sharing. That, that just blessed me. God's gift to me has allowed me to, that just blessed me, I'm telling you. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, so let me right. do this. We have a Christmas CD, yes. uh, Not the Way It Seems. That's yes. the name of it? Absolutely. All right, so right now there is uh, a website that is on the screen. You can't see it, but we can okay. right here. And, and so <laughs> you go to that website, and I want you to purchase 10 CDs apiece. That's right. Right, and, pass, and stick them in stockings. Yes. Yep, and give them to everyone. Yes. Uh, also... Um, you're a Bible teacher as well? Yep. Really? Oh, that's another story. We don't have time for all that. But, uh, no, it's wonderful. The Lord... That's, it, you, you, you really have stepped into some great things, haven't you? I, have, I even have a radio show in Ireland. Um, the Lord's given me ministry in Ireland. And so wow. um, every week I go down in my basement and I, I get to share the gospel with the nation of Ireland. And they hear it over there. It's wonderful. So. That is wonderful. Yeah. All right. I am going to get out of your way because okay. I want to hear some more, don't right. you? Now,